Welcome back. How is your coaching going? My name is Nicolette Schipper van Veldhoven and I'm a strategic advisor for youth sport at the Netherlands Olympic Committee Netherlands Sports Confederation and a professor of sports pedagogy at Winsheim University and also one of the iCoach Kids co-founders. In this video we are going to explore how we might support the final step of the journey from a talent system to entering elite sport at senior level and becoming a megastar. The four major transitions in the talent system were outlined in video 1.1 as from community sport to regional selection or pre-academy to national select or post-academy to professional or Olympic level. One of the biggest steps a young athlete will make is moving from junior to senior or from post-academy to professional level or more importantly moving from development to a performance environment. This is known as the junior to senior transition. An example of this transition might be when a football player obta obtains their first professional contract or begins to train with a professional team. The outcome of these career transitions are typically a factor of the demands put on the young athlete and their ability to cope with them successfully. For example, Regarding the demands, when athletes move from junior to senior competition, they, have, they may experience increased competition levels and intensity of practices, which may be both physically and mentally demanding. They may also be moving from adolescence into young adu adulthood, which coincides with more general cognitive, social, psychological and physical developmental demands. This may be even more challenging by the fact that the transition may span across several years, with athletes in a continual period of uncertainty and challenge. Other transitional moments might include moving from a small to a large team or lower to a much higher league. Just think about Emma Radakano, who went from a relative unknown to winning a Grand Slam in just two years. Very few young athletes can cope with such big jumps. Finding ways to allow young athletes to keep progressing into their 20s is vital. Having development squads in lower leagues or allowing players to go on loan to other teams has proven quite successful in many sports. Coaches therefore need to support how they support their athletes before, during and after these transition. Researchers have provided three perspectives when considering how to assist athletes in coping with career transitions. One, preventive, that is putting in place systems to avoid any potential issue. This may include providing information of what a future transition might be like. Two, crisis coping or having the tools and people in place to deal with a situation when it arises. This might include working with a sports psychologist. And three, helping them to cope with the negative consequences from a given crisis. This might require support from coaching and welfare staff to fully understand the challenges faced. Furthermore, the International Society for Sports Psychology recommends that coaches view athletes holistically and should offer guidance in the areas of career planning, balancing lifestyle, stress time energy management and effective recovery as well as support from significant others. In summary, with careful planning and support, coaches can take positive action to increase the success of athlete transitions, further supporting their career development and well-being. Why not plan what you can do for your athletes at your next coaches meeting? Good luck!